Wayne TV Channel 15 reporter Alyssa Ivinson talks about human trafficking in Fort Wayne, Indiana, but doesn't talk about California cops being investigated and tried for prostitution exploitation. Wayne TV can't figure out why police are so powerless when it comes to preventing human trafficking. When Alyssa Ivinson and Channel 15 really want to find out, they can seek out Jasmine Abuslin, the daughter of a police dispatcher in Oakland, California. News Australia, headline, sex worker wins $1 million after extraordinary claims about cops. Jasmine Abuslin, also known as Celeste Guap, began having sex age 17 with more than a dozen officers from around San Francisco's East Bay. In total, she had sex with 30 cops from Oakland, Richmond, Livermore, and Alameda, and Contra Costa County Sheriff's offices and said three pay her. Oakland City Council approved a $989,000 settlement with a Abuslin. Her lawyer, John Burris, said that most importantly, the case was about the outrageous behavior on the part of people who are police officers and who were sworn to uphold the law and engage in regular contact, violating the oath of law enforcement they had taken. Burris said the officers had somehow believed they were above the law or that no one would care because perhaps Jasmine's credibility would be called into question. Oakland Mayor Liddy Schaff said it was in the best interest of the city to settle the matter quickly and fairly and focus on rebuilding the public trust that was so damaged by this incident. Oakland Mayor Liddy Schaff wants to deal quickly and fairly with Oakland police officers who allegedly exploited prostitution in California. How is that plan working out so far? ABC 7 Headline, Group Protest Promotion of Oakland Cops Tied to Sex Scandal. Dozens of demonstrators gathered in front of an Oakland church to protest the promotion of two officials that are connected to the Bay Area-wide police sex scandal. Sources say the two were involved in a cover-up. The group stood with signs outside the Greek Orthodox Cathedral telling Oakland Mayor Libby Schaaf to leave office over the scandal involving police officers and Jasmine Abuslin, a young prostitute formerly known as Celeste Guap. A federal report last month found top officials at the department and the city mishandled the investigation. The East Bay Express reports two high-ranking officers involved. John Lois and Roland Holmgren are now being promoted by the chief. East Bay Times, headline, Judge, troubling conclusions found in report critical of Oakland police. Federal court appointed attorneys Edward Swanson and Audrey Perrin in their June 21 report said Oakland Police Department command staff knew of allegations of officer sexual misconduct detailed in a September 2015 suicide note written by Officer Brendan O'Brien but conducted an inept investigation. The report reached some very troubling conclusions about how defendants mishandled these allegations and did not aggressively pursue an inquiry into what went wrong, U.S. District Judge Felton Henderson wrote. The federal court overseeing the department took control of the investigation after it was leaked to Robert Warshaw, OPD's federal monitor. A subsequent investigation led to the discipline of 12 Oakland officers, including four terminations. Four officers have also been charged with crimes related to the scandal. OPD's investigation of this case was seriously deficient, the attorneys wrote. If not for the court's intervention, we have no confidence that correct discipline would have ever been imposed, criminal charges filed, or departmental shortcomings examined. Reason. Headline. Damning new report shows how Oakland cops covered up their sexual exploitation of a minor. The report explains the extent that the Oakland Police Department was involved with the girl who goes by the pseudonym Celeste Guab and also details OPD leadership's myriad attempts to make the scandal disappear. Throughout the investigation of the cops, Guap, now 19, was treated like a suspect. One investigator even called Guap a whore. Others accused her of lying and later misrepresented her statements to their bosses. 
Before the Fed stepped in, civil rights lawyers and California residents had been pleading for then-Attorney General Kamala Harris, now a U.S. Senator, to open an independent investigation into the situation since it spanned several police departments and involved allegations of cover-ups. Harris never responded to the petitions and pleas, asking her to look into systemic sexual exploitation by state agents in Oakland. Oakland Mayor Libby Shaw wants to put the Oakland police team prostitution scandal to rest. Fox KTV U2. Headline, three more officers charged in Bay Area police sex scandal, Hayward, California. Oakland police officer Giovanni Laverde has been charged with a felony for engaging in a sex act with a minor in a public area near Lake Merritt. Oakland police officer Brian Button has been charged with conspiracy and obstruction of justice for allegedly warning the juvenile of an undercover Oakland police operation targeting prostitutes. Button was also charged with a misdemeanor for engaging in an act of prostitution. The Alameda County District Attorney has charged former Contra Costa Sheriff's Deputy Ricardo Perez for allegedly having sexual intercourse at an unknown location near Fish Ranch Road in the Oakland Hills about 10 times with a 17-year-old minor. Fish Ranch Road. I haven't been there since high school, Judge Joseph Carson said before declining the prosecution's request for a $60,000 bail and releasing resigned Contra Costa County Sheriff's Deputy Ricardo Perez on his own recognizance. Perez pleaded not guilty to a felony oral copulation with a minor and two misdemeanor counts for lewd conduct in a public place, charges stemming from alleged sex acts with the Richmond teenager at the center of a widespread police sexual exploitation case. If he's found guilty, Perez would be required to register as a sex offender. Fox KTV U2. Headline, ex-Oakland cop to stand trial on charges from sex worker scandal. Hayward, California. A judge ruled Thursday that a former Oakland police officer who was arrested last year in connection with a sex scandal that rocked the department will stand trial on the charges. Alameda County Superior Court Judge Thomas Rogers ordered Brian Button, 41, to stand trial on the charges. Button was arraigned in September 2016 on a felony charge of obstruction of justice and a misdemeanor charge of engaging in prostitution. Button remains out of custody on bail. Open criminal cases against accused police officers are being handled by the Alameda County District Attorney's Office. The Alameda County Sheriff's Department has already closed four cases involving Alameda County deputies having sex with the same teenage girl who worked as a prostitute. ABC7 News reporter Dan Noyes reports, at least seven law enforcement agencies have launched investigations, but the Alameda County Sheriff is done. They tell me they cleared four deputies who had sex with Celeste Guap because it was consensual, no one paid, and she was 18 at the time. Are you getting this, people? The Alameda County Sheriff has no problem with four deputies having sex with a teenager working as a prostitute because the deputies didn't pay money for the intercourse they considered consensual and because the girl had celebrated her 18th birthday before the deputies passed her around like a flesh and blood sex doll. Fort Wayne Police and the Allen County Sheriff are not talking to Wayne TV reporter Alyssa Ivinson about Jasmine Abuslin or Celeste Guap and the Oakland police engaged in alleged prostitution exploitation. When law enforcement superiors see no problem with law enforcing subordinates engaging in free consensual sex with a teenage girl working as a prostitute, there's absolutely no way reporters like Wayne TV's Alyssa Ivinson will ever discover why police can't stop prostitution. That's why Wayne TV Channel 15 will never find out why police can't stop human trafficking.